Hi everyone, it's Alan Lepofsky here from Constellation Research and I'm coming to you live from Adobe Max in Las Vegas. Adobe Max is a conference dedicated to creative professionals, so artists and designers and photographers and people creating films, all sorts of neat stuff there. So why am I here? What's interesting to me? Well, I want to know how are things like this got to apply to regular knowledge workers, to desk workers, people that are there every day using email and social channels and Microsoft Office and G Suites and calendars and emails, all of those things. How can we get that same cool creative content that the photographers and the designers are getting? How can we make the future of work more interesting? So that's what I work with Adobe on. Now there was lots of announcements this morning, things like new enhancements to Photoshop and Premiere and all sorts of other products, but there's just two areas I'm going to focus on for what I think is interesting for my research area and what my followers are doing. And the first is Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is a mobile and web application that allows non-designers and non-artists to quickly and easily create content for sharing in social media. So you know those inspirational posters, really cool images with words on top and things that you see in your Facebook and Twitter streams? Well, this is a tool to help you automate those. Now, Spark was introduced last year. What they introduced this year at the show is Spark Premiere. This is the high-end version of it, the paid version instead of the freemium version, that allows companies to put corporate branding on it. So instead of having the Adobe Spark logo watermarked, you can actually have your own product logo, colors, branding, fonts, templates, all the things that make Spark perfect for your company. So if you want all your employees sending out tweets that use that same imagery or that same look and style, the new version of Adobe Spark Premiere is for you. Check it out. It's available today on the web and iOS with Android coming in the future. The second thing that was interesting to me is where Adobe is going with their AI technology, what they call Adobe Sensei. Now, you hear a lot about artificial intelligence these days. It's hard to go to any conference or read any tech article that doesn't talk about artificial intelligence. So what's different about what Adobe is doing with Sensei? Well, first of all, they're not trying to create a general purpose architecture. They're not trying to create an AI platform that anybody can use to do anything. They're focusing AI specifically on creative professionals. So how can it look at images? How can it change backgrounds? How can it find matching colors? How can it help the people do their jobs in photography and film? How can it use facial recognition? So they showed some really cool demos about things like, let's say you're at a photo shoot and you take 100 photos of a model and you want to know only the photos where the face is facing to the left or the person is looking to the right. Well, using AI, they can actually help filter down those photos to do such a thing. So very purposeful driven artificial intelligence, which I think is really cool. So there's lots, lots more news from Adobe uh, Max this year. I, again, just wanted to focus on those two areas, Adobe Spark and Adobe Sensei. But follow the news coming out of Adobe Max for information about a lot more things. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have any questions for me, I'm Alan Lipo on Twitter. So this has been Alan Lepofsky from Constellation Research coming to you from Las Vegas from Adobe Max. Thanks for listening. Bye.